Our Savior, Christ Jesus, abolished death and brought life and immortality to light those through the gospel. And the question we ask ourselves today, is that life in me? That which Christ brought, is it in me? And the sign, and the greatest sign of this light in us, is a sign of faith. That uh, in faith, we are called to turn back to the Father. In turning back to the Father, we might find that it might be difficult, but again, it is very easy for us to turn back to the Father after knowing whom we are. In the first reading, we hear our prophet Hosea talking about the relationship between God and humanity and comparing this relationship to a husband and a wife. Remember, Hosea is writing in a moment that people have abandoned God. So he's writing to the people who have abandoned God and they have decided to do their own ways. At the beginning of the book of Hosea, you'll hear that they have run away from me. They have left me like a woman who has left the husband and is moving with every man outside. This is the beginning of the book of Prophet Hosea. That woman has left the house, the husband, and is moving out. And every human being has left God and now is doing other things that are not necessary, not important. That does not bring relationship with God. And so in chapter 2, here comes Hosea that God loves humanity. The love that God loves those who have abandoned him. And this is why he's saying, I will no longer call you Baal, but I will call you my husband. I left because I did not know. But now I've come back and I will have to have a new relationship with you, a new lifestyle with you. I will no longer call you a reject, but you will always be my husband. I will lure her. And God is here with a covenant he made with us. We have run away from him because of material position, because of our weaknesses, because of the demands of the world. But again, now God is ready to welcome us back. And the psalmist is telling us that God is full of kindness and compassion. He's so kind to us that even when we run away, he is still inviting us because of the love he has for us. He created us in his own image and likeness, and he will never abandon us completely. In the gospel, those who have seen this light are those who are living in faith. On Jesus' way, this woman with great faith, that let me just touch his cloth. What a faith in Jesus. Just touching. Let him not speak to me. Just touching, then I will be okay. How do we search for Jesus? Do we know this Jesus we are looking for and we are ready to serve? And how is he working miracles in my life? This kind of great faith that just touching a 12 year old uh, hemorrhage stops. You know, we are with women Sometimes when we are in the media, we talk only things of the media. What woman will love the blood? Mwanamke yupi atapenda damu kwenye mwili wake? Even the natural one of three to four days, they don't like it. Because it is a mess to them. Now this is 12 years. And who can do it? Because for this disease to stay for 12 years, this woman has walked to all the wagangas in their villages. And people have proposed, go to, that, go to that village, you are going to get healing. But all this, she did not get the healings. But only in Jesus, by just touching. And Jesus says, woman, take heart. Your faith has healed you. 
Jesus is telling us, we have difficulties in our life. We have different diseases in our life. We have different hemorrhages in our life. Maybe umbea, fitina nyingi, maybe we know ourselves. I know myself. With the kind of difficult disease that has stayed with me for long. I've tried all means. I've not got any solution. The only solution is in Jesus himself. Let us run to him. These people again are a mourning for this young girl. And Jesus reached there and says, you come out. The girl is not dead. He's just sleeping. It's a way of consolation. It's always in our African culture, when somebody's dead, we cannot say so and so is dead. You'll try to find a way to coin it to make it more attractive. So Jesus is telling them, no, it is not dead, he's sleeping. And uh, even in our local culture, a way of making it dead because of what? Dead because of sin. And this sin is why Jesus is in the world to destroy the power of death that we may walk again. And Jesus is coming to this woman and telling these people, you walk out. And they are laughing. Strange things. But Jesus came with power. And this power is to make us live. This power is to make us walk in the light. This power is to make us to enjoy that faculty that God gave to humanity. That is where Jesus is bringing back to show that I am powerful. I am from God, and my powers is not from this world. So stand up and walk. And this, woman, this lady walks again. The faith in Jesus. The, see Jesus. the God who is full of compassion and kindness is calling upon us today. Let us come to Christ. We have run away for long. Let us come back to him. Let us just admire even touching his clothes. We receive him here in the Holy Eucharist. It's a way of touching Jesus in our prayers. To Christus wete na akawono wa kwa nyasai manya logi kumokoduto. Mondo wabedigi ye motegno. Kaka osea andiko. Nejo Israel kenundiko na waduto. Waseringo waweo nyasai. Nyasai podo hera wage hera maduong. Hera mohera wagone. Emo meyo oduogo yirwa. Kendo gingwono ne, o yeru wako wa, ne waringo wa lalma na kaka, miyo ringo wa yawa de gichwore, kendo timote mamokne kare, tunya sayo se yilu wongo wa hire, mondo wa wuth kode, watim duwache. Mondo mi watim duwache gadiri, nyaka wabedi giye motegno, mana yake miyo, mao sebedo igini ya pargare yoke chandro wako. Kaen gituwa machande, oringo ni mondo mule lao yesu, mondo bedi mangema. Nyathini ose tho, otho ni kechiricho, wanbende yore mutu pogore pogore, wase tho ni kechiricho wa, timbe wa mamono, weche wa moko de kare ose nego wa, omeyo, krisu zongi chunywa, ubiru ka uono, oronye dhori chunywa, omeyo wateko, oduogo iye wa, mondo me, wachak watine gadieri. Kwa hiyo ni chengi makawono ni kukalo kuma lemo mar Elizabeth mar Portugal. Mane uye kuma nyasai kendo uti yonelo duto. Wanbende wa uye kuma nyasai kendo watine gihera kendo kwa tine jowete wa kwa wotho elermare. Tumsifu Yesu Christu.